Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glorium C series, the Moonrise Beach series, and the new Heartbreaker series. So I did receive finally my inserts from Erin Condren. I did do my Erin um, Condren launch haul already. So if you guys wanna see everything that I picked up from Erin Condren at that launch, then go ahead and check out that video. But if you did watch that video, you may know that the actual um, A5 Daily Duo inserts were missing from my order. So I did get the cover that I chose, which was the floral this time, and I did get it personalized with my name there at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can even see that, but it just says Anna Jolene there. Um, but I didn't get any of the inserts, which was weird. Um, so I had to contact them and they did send it out to me pretty quickly. I got my initial order on uh, Tuesday. So that was May 2nd. And then I got my inserts on the Saturday, which was um, the 6th. So I feel like that's not too bad, right? It's only just a few days of waiting. Um, but I did notice that I did not receive a like a dust bag for the cover. And then also I did not receive the ruler, the six hole ruler that comes with the daily duo so I don't know what's going on but I've just been missing a lot of things um, whenever I order from Erin Condren like there's always one or two items missing that I purchase or like sometimes the freebies are missing or yeah just like other things so it's very weird I don't know what's going on or who's packaging it but yeah a lot of things have been missing from my orders let me know if that's the case with you guys. But anyways, I do want to do a walkthrough of the Wildflower A5 Daily Duo. I haven't seen too many videos on this. I've kind of seen it um, for the other styles, but not for the agenda style. So I will show you what I'm currently using. I am using the Daily Duo now. This is the one that's in the spiral. And I do have a video up on my channel. Um, where I show my setup and I've done plan with me's and things like that but this is what I use for work I have a monthly view here and then you go into your dashboard which I have kits for and then we go into the dailies which I love I am a very busy person so um, I like having this type of view where I can have a timeline on one end the to-do list and then what I like to do is put like my most important event for that day up in the corner here in like in a box so that it really stands out and then I will have in this corner like any notes so like in this case all the happy mail that I received this day I will also put down like my word count because I am an author so I often keep track of that here at the bottom so in this type of layout I love it because everything has a place so anytime I need to refer to something or check back on something um, I know exactly where to look and so I'm not wasting time flipping through the pages like this and that and looking like oh when was the last time I did this or when did this happen I just know where exactly to look so it's been really nice that way so I will link my flip through that I've done so far for this year in this planner with you guys but yeah, it's really, really functional. I have all these kits, um, the monthly kits, the dashboard kits like this, and then also the actual like daily duo kits. These are all in my shop. So if you guys are interested in that, then definitely check out my shop and don't forget to use the code uh, SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. So I have been using this planner every single day for the entire year, but I do have the spiral bound version, but because I do have other things that I need to do um, that require like an extra monthly and some notes and things like that, I have an extra A5 planner that I have been using in conjunction with this. So I thought that for the new year that I would try out these agenda inserts, which are already the A5 size, so that I can just have one planner instead of having this plus another A5 ring bound planner. So for July 2023 and then moving on to June 2024, I'm gonna be trying this out and I'm hoping that I will like it. Um, this way I just kind of minimize the number of planners that I'm using and I will be also using the printable inserts from my shop. I do have half letter size inserts 
that I will be using with this Daily Duo insert. Let me go ahead and show you the insert. I did purchase the Wildflower design, which is a nice kind of floral and um, like quite neutral colorway. I really enjoyed the in bloom design of this past year, so I just pretty much stuck with what I like. This past year, I did purchase quite a few planners from Erin Condren. I have the Daily Duo in the A5 size. I got the 7x9 Hourly. I got the A5 Agenda in the Horizontal. And then also I have the Compact Vertical in the A5. And out of all of those, the Daily Planner is definitely my favorite. So as you guys saw, I just removed it from the shrink wrap. And you have two packs here. So this one goes from July to December 2023. And then this one has the piece of vellum on top and that goes from January to June 2024. Now you can choose your inserts if you want it to go for like a full year so you have those options in the shop but um, this academic year works fine for me. Um, I do use the Hobonichi Cousin in conjunction with this for my shop stuff so um, having that start from January to December works out. That way none of my planners all end at the same time. So let me get started with this and I think I will actually put it into the um, agenda here so that we can actually flip through it easily. So I did purchase the additional um, inserts here. Um, I purchased three other packs, the productivity one, which looks like this, and then I purchased the meal planning one which looks like this. You have like an uh, overview of the week and then the shopping list on the other side. And then my favorite one is the checklist. So you have all these kind of categorized lists. And then you also have these mini four box checklists too, which I love. So if you ordered that in addition to the Daily Duo or whatever other uh, insert, then it does um, get you an additional 20% off. But I'm gonna go ahead and pop these inserts in here. So we can do like a flip through of the design and things like that. So you do get one vellum and the vellum actually comes in the second half of the year. And this time it has the little asterisks on the corners. I kind of wish that they did the floral design that is on the actual dividers like this. That would have been nice, but I don't know. I think maybe they're just trying to streamline the vellum. And also, before I forget, you do get some stickers. So at the very end, you do get two sheets here. They are foiled in gold, as you guys can see. So you have various shapes, um, some teardrops, some flags, some larger circles. This one has important today, this week reminder, and you have a bunch of to-do scripts there with the circles. So those are handy, I like these. So let's start off here and go through the planner. So again, you have the title page here. This is my life. You can write your name there. And then we have the six boxes. And these are blank, so you can fill them in however you want. I usually put important dates in here. And then you have um, the rest of the year here. So July to December with some note space. So I will put holidays here and then mark off any important dates. So you have a tab there. All your tabs are different colors and this time, um, I feel like they are very muted colors, very neutral, um, so I really like them. All right, um, on the back of that, we do get the 2024 uh, calendar, which seems crazy to think about, but yeah, we have that ready there, and then it goes straight into the tab monthly section. So I'm gonna show you all of the covers here because this is the reason why I wanted this planner. I really like the florals, as you guys know. I chose the wildflower design, but they also have the minimal canvas design and then the colorful inspired design, which is also really pretty too. But for me, I like kind of like whimsical, like very neutral, calming designs. And I feel like this new wildflower design is very calming. It's not much color. The color, the watercolor is very, very soothing. So I really like it. Each one has a little quote there. So this one says a little progress each day adds up to big results. That's for July. For August, it looks like this. It says rest is productive, which I love that quote because I tend to push myself and work too hard sometimes. So that's a great reminder. This is September. It says life should not only be lived, it should be celebrated. Again, I love that one. 
October, October is my birthday month, so it's green here, and it says you already have what it takes. So the quotes are really, really nice. November is blue, and it says success starts with a plan. A great quote for all you planners out there. And then December looks like this. So it says, let yourself be perfectly imperfect. I will show you the rest of the inserts after, but let me show you the monthlies. With the monthlies, it's very neutral. You do get the floral design if you do purchase the wildflower design, and then it matches the color of the tab. So it's very neutral. Again, I have been using the sticker kits from my shop. So they kind of look like this. This is actually how May looks like for me. So you have some functional boxes. I like to have the boxes because it makes things stand out. It brings my eye to certain things and I also like to color code a lot. So I will be doing that here again. So once again, if you guys are interested in the monthly sticker kits from my shop, you guys can Use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off. We do have the line page still here. This is what the dashboard looks like this time. Um, it does have a gray background and then you get a little bit of the floral design in the back. And I believe, uh, no, it's not actually the same pattern of the florals in the back there, it's different. So again, you have the boxes. I do have sticker kits that will cover this up if you want to. Um, or you can use the journaling kits from my shop. So I like to have this as like an overview to goal set for myself. And then we go straight into the dailies. And the dailies are exactly the same as the current year. So you have a 6 a.m. start, and then it goes all the way to 7 p.m. here, but you do get a blank spot here at the bottom. They did not get rid of the mini calendar there, which is actually fine for me. I do actually find myself using that quite a bit. Um, and then you have a to-do list and you have plenty of bulleted points here where you can just go straight in and write in your to-do list. What I like to do is I use these header stickers. Um, these come in the kits for my shop and I actually create a top three for myself every single day. So I do that every single day here just so that I can prioritize certain tasks. And that way um, I know exactly what I need to do that particular day. And then anything else here at the bottom is just extra stuff. And then at the bottom, as I told you, I use it in a multitude of different ways. I track my spending, I track my word count for the day, happy mail, um, any extra notes and things like that. Now I did notice that um, the actual like overall color is more lighter than the current year. So I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but the lines and the font, everything is just lighter. So you can see like this one is so much more darker and this one is lighter. I don't know if I like that. I feel like it's a little kind of washed out. Like even on camera, it looks really faded. Whereas this, you can see like the crisp lines and things like that. I kind of like that, but I don't know. It's just a little lighter. It looks to me like, you see here, we have like a darker line and then we have this line here that's more faded. It looks like they took this color and did it for all of it for the new one. So that is just something to know. I don't know if it's gonna be a bother um, to some people, but that's just something that I noticed immediately when I saw it. I was like, everything looks faded. So anyways, you do get a line page again at the end of each week, which I still use in the same way. I make these small lists for myself just so I can kind of check them off and use it as a sidebar in my daily duo. So that is basically what it looks like for the whole entire planner. Now the colors do match whatever month you are in. So I will do a very, very quick flip through of all the colors. This one's really nice with the kind of beige tones and the blues, I like that one. So the actual color is like that kind of oatmeal color. And then this is what October looks like. The florals are pretty minimal, so if you want to use like a sticker kit to cover that up, you can probably do that really easily. October is like a green. November is the blue. And then December is that very lovely light purple. 
So that is the rest of 2023. At the end here, you just have some extra notes and then your heritage and awareness observances there. So that is the first half. Let me show you January to June now. So again, you get that piece of vellum. It's pretty much the same here with the first part. So you get the six boxes again and the calendar for the first half of the year. And then you have actually 2025 there. And then here are the dashboards. So this one says today I choose joy for January. And that is what the monthly looks like. And then here is the dashboard. You do get the holidays there written at the top. And then for February it says, what you're looking for is within you. I love the colors. It's very, very soft. Then this is March. So the colors are pretty much the same as the other ones. Progress over perfection. And then this is April. Find the good in every day. There's quite a lot of gray tones in this planner. Um, in May, it says always have the courage to start. So for June, it says you are right where you need to be. And in the monthlies, you do get the holidays. So again, not many notes pages. That's why I purchase these ones as the extra. And then you get the two sticker sheets. So that is it. That is everything that you get in the A5 Daily Dua Agenda Inserts from Erin Condren. What do you guys think about the wildflower design? I really like it. It's pretty minimal. I just kind of wish that the um, writing in it was a little bit bolder like the current year, but I think it'll be fine. We'll see how it goes. I do plan on doing a setup video on this because I am going to be integrating these daily duo inserts with um, the other printable inserts for my shop and making it like the one planner for my work. So we'll see how it goes. I will um, share that video with you guys once I have it set up. But I do have a code for Erin Condren, so if you guys are interested in making a purchase from their shop, um, go ahead and use the link down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Let me know what planner from Erin Condren you're going to be using for next year, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.